In this quick episode, we are going to link to our details page via Slug. In the previous episode, we linked uh, our list to the details page via ID. So in this episode, we are going to be doing it by Slug. And also I'm going to show you how you can set up pagination uh, for your movie list. Okay, so first of all, let's set up our Slug. So we are going to go to the Builder plugin, uh, choose our plugin, so Movies. And then I'm going to click on our database and add one more column. And that column is going to be called slug. It's going to be a string and it's going to be nullable. It's going to be nullable because if you try to save it right now without it being nullable, it's going to uh, give you an error. So you have to make it nullable. We save it, save and apply, and that's it. Now we have slug field for our movies. Next thing we are going to do, we are going to go to models, fields, and we are going to add one more field right here. It's going to be a text field. The field name will be of course slug. Actually that's the field name from our database and the label is going to be slug also. Okay, and now uh, what I want to do is go to advanced right here and you have this press preset. Let me just make this bigger. Okay, so you have preset right here, right here. Click on it and you choose a field uh, that this uh, slug is going to be connected to. So the field we want is name. Name and the type of that field is going to be slug. Okay, save this. And now if we go to our movies and click for example on Inception, now we can see this slug field right here. But if we try to type something in the movie title. As you can see, it automatically fills in the slug field. So uh, when you're developing your application or your website, uh, you should have slug right away. So because right now I'm going to have to go through all of our movies, which is not a lot because we only have three and write that title again. Uh, so I'm going to do that behind the scenes, but for now we have this slug for inception. We click save and close. And now we go to our CMS, we go to movies. And now I'm going to, <coughs> instead of this movies URL, actually we have to go to movie single instead of movie slash ID, I'm going to say movies because I actually wanted to do that in the previous episode, but it turned out to be movie instead of movies. And we are not going to be calling the ID parameter, but the slug parameter. And also you have to go to the record details and set the identifier value to be slug and also key column to be slug also. Save this. Okay. If we go to our movies right now, click this. Uh, we click the link to the details page. It's currently using this details column of ID. We are going to change these to slug also. Okay, save this. And now if we go to our movies, uh, refresh the page, go to inception, we should see down here that the URL currently is movies inception. For Fight Club we have movies default and for American Beauty we have movies default because we didn't uh, write the titles of those movies again. So for inception this should work now. As you can see, we get inception. Okay, so now behind the scenes, I'm going to add uh, slugs to all other movies. 
now that I entered the new slugs, now the Fight Club works and also American Beauty works. Okay, next thing we are going to be doing is creating pagination for our movie list. So how do you do that? We go to CMS, we go to movies. And now if we click this record list right here, you have pagination. Okay, let's click it and set the records per page to be just one. Okay, save this. And if we go to our movies, we should get only one movie right here, like we did, and we have page one, two and three. Okay, but this doesn't actually work just yet. If you check out down here, you can see that the, these URLs all point to movies. So if I click on it, I will just get on the same page that I'm already on. So we need to do something else. Okay, so if I click on this, uh, we have this page number uh, parameter that we have to set. So I can do something like movies page. Okay, save it. And now if we go to movies, now we get page not found. So what's going on? Well, uh, what is going on is that currently the way we have our URL set up is that uh, it is expecting this parameter to be present. So if we go to movies slash one, we should get inception and then all the other movies and the pagination now works. But we don't want it to work that way because we want when someone goes to movies to actually display the movies page and not get page not found. So to deal with that, you just add a question mark at the end. So what this is saying to the URL is that this parameter right here is optional. So if we save this, we get movies and we get all the movies that we need on this page. So we are uh, displaying only one, but our pagination also works. So Fight Club, previous works and so on. Of course, if you go to your template, to the movies page, you can see down here, which I didn't mention in the previous episodes, that you have this uh, HTML for pagination. So of course you can take this and use a little bit of CSS to make this pagination look much prettier. Okay guys, this is it for this episode. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. If you like the content I put out, please subscribe to the channel. You can of course also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter and ask me questions there. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching once again and I will see you in the next episode.